Hi, my name is Warren Pope. I'm going to provide you a quick guided tour of Gmail's console. Begin by opening your web browser to gmail.com and log into your Gmail account. Enter in your username and your password. Select the sign in. Your Gmail will load and taking you to the console that you're seeing now. On the top left toolbar, this allows you to navigate to other Google services like calendar, documents, photos, the reader, the web, and then there's a drop down with more items such as YouTube. The top right toolbar displays who you're logged in as. You can change your settings, look for help, report a bug, as well as sign out of your email account. Next, Google has a search mail and search the web feature. Very powerful and useful once your email account has hundreds or even thousands of messages allowing you to locate that specific email. Just type in what you need, select the search mail button here, and your search selections will appear down in the main body of your page. The left menu tab has what's selected is called mail. This allows the inbox, buzz, star, sent mail drafts to appear down here as well as this composed mail as well as what's ever in your inbox readily to be available when you click the mail tab. It's what the default selection is. The next option is contacts. This is allows you to keep track of names and their addresses readily available for your use. It's useful when you're composing email messages. The next button is called tasks. This allows you to keep track of things you need to accomplish. A pop-up window to the right displays at the bottom of the screen when you click on it. Uh, this allows you to add a task to your calendar, for instance. The next button is Compose Mail. Compose Mail will allow you to compose a new email message and send it to another person in their email box. The next option is the inbox. Again, this was the default. This shows all the new mail messages that you have received off on the right hand side here. Here we actually have three mail messages that we received since uh, we signed up and created this account. Next option is Buzz. This allows you to immediately, immediately notify people who are following you. Want to learn more about this? Just click on the little video that appears there and you can learn how Buzz works to communicate with, with your following people. Starred. This allows you to see the emails you have marked as starred, allowing you to retrieve those quickly and easily. Sent mail are the emails that you have sent to other people. You may want to go back and look and see what you have written at one point in time, or you talked to somebody and you wanted to see what email you had sent and what what uh, your communications have been with them. Drafts are emails that you have saved messages that uh, you're still composing but haven't yet finished to send. Next you'll see some labels uh, referred to as folders where you can drag emails to categorizing those emails you wish to save such as personal and travel. Currently ours are empty. The drop down box where it says six more are additional labels. Uh, the, what's worth looking here at is the spam and all mail labels. If you're missing some emails, you might want to check both of these folders out. There's also the trash where you can select to delete and the mail message, the inbox mails, mails that you have read will go into the trash bin. Next option down, let's get out of that to more selection. We can just double click that and it goes away. Chat allows you to quickly communicate with your family, friends, coworkers, and customers. Sometimes it's called Gtalk. And uh, you can learn more about that if you wish. Um, when you sign up, you can immediately get a chat in a, a chat account with your email address. And you can communicate with other people that have Gmails.
quickly and easily you can communicate with them in real time. Well, all the above ways are terrific to organize your communications with uh, other people using Gmail services. Take your time to learn a little bit about each one of the above links and tabs to maximize Gmail as your communication tool. For articles and videos featuring my how-to tips, go to www.warrenpope.com. Remember, sign up to receive my latest tips and notification. That's it for now. Thank you very much.